Rocky Jones. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Starring Richard Crane. In Beyond the Curtain of Space. Chapter 3. When we last saw Rocky Jones, he had taken his spaceship to the planet Ophetius and successfully rescued Professor Newton and little Bobby, who had been held prisoners. Congratulations for a fine blast off. Thanks, Rocky. Thank you, sir. I was talking to Winky. Well, now I'm talking to you, even though you are my commanding officer. Rocky, why don't you get that serious look off your face once in a while? I'll take over, Mina. You better go back with Professor Newton and Bobby. They may need some attention. They've had a rough time. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, the woman's touch. But who's going to say anything against it? Hey, how's the professor, Rocky? Thoroughly confused at the moment. Keeps saying, why are you taking me away from Ophetius? And he rubs his head and can't understand why he said a thing like that. Gosh, that must have been some powerful treatment he got up there. Yes, he still acts as if his brain had been paralyzed, but he's coming around. This is weakness, Cleolanter. The ship must be destroyed. Or is it because Rocky Jones is aboard? Your great mistake was in trying to keep him here. I'm going to give the orders to... I give the orders, Darganto. Not you or anyone. Cleolata, if they even reach our communication zone, we lose our best ally on Earth. Our own man in their headquarters. You mean Griff? Yes. Rocky knows we have an ally on Earth. But Rocky can't possibly suppose that he is... But he can, Cleolata. He knows. I... You told him. I was forced to. And you are the strong one. You're a weakling and a traitor. I had no intention of allowing them to go beyond our reach. But neither am I prepared to invite a war just now. In a moment, we'll falsely magnetize their instruments. If the orbit jet crashes into an officious moon, it's not our responsibility. That will help correct your mistake. What do you bet they're just pretending to let us get away? Uh-huh. Heads they blast us, tails they don't, huh? The odds aren't that good. If they can't have Professor Newton on their side, they certainly don't want him on ours. Well, it's clear sailing ahead. That is, unless they decide to blast us. Is it manual control, Rocky? No, we'll go by instruments. Conserve all power for this long hop, Winky. <sighs> You know, Wiki, it's hard to understand how a man raised on our Earth could fall in line with the Ophetians and become a spy for them against us. You mean we got one of those things crawling around? Yes, and in the Space Ranger's service. What? Oh, you must be kidding. Galloping galaxies, I can't believe it. Do you know who it is? Yes, Griff. Griff? Golly. Hey, Griff's at headquarters. That's right. I don't understand it, but looking back, I can believe it. You see, Winky, Griff had a lot of time piled up, including a hop to Ophetius. That's when the bug bit him. That's when he fell for their phony philosophy. Yeah, go on. Then he took advantage of off-earth time to ask us for an office assignment so he could spy for them. Niven, comments the guy must have got moon fever. He must be nuts to do a thing like that. Well, it's hard to explain a traitor, Winky, but... Well, his main purpose was to infiltrate the heart of our operations. That explains why the Ophetians seemed to know what we were going to do before we did it. Griff tipped them off. Gosh, Rocky, wait till Secretary Drake hears this and realizes that his own assistant... Yes, I know. Well, we'd better bring the log up to date and see it. Also during this mission, Darganto, a power in the officious formation, admitted under stress that their agent on Earth is 
Griff. Yes, Mr. Secretary, Griff. The time is now 1535, and we're still within the boundaries of the Ophetius formation. You got that? Mm -hmm. Mr. Secretary, as an integral part of the log of this flight of the XV-2, I wish to make the following entry. I have never had so fine a crew. As an integral part of the log of this flight, Rocky, this includes me. <laughs> Go on, Dana, there's more. Sorry, sir. There's only one T in integral. Satellites. That was too close for comfort. So Rocky Jones wasn't going to get beyond our reach, hmm? Silence. I have another plan. You know, Winky, I'm sure glad there's only one T in integral. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, Rocky. I'm finally in clear contact with space station RV-5. Now to relay the message to Earth. Oh, hop and Hercules. Won't Secretary Drake be glad to hear we have the Professor and Bobby aboard? Yes, he will. But our first report has to be unfavorable. Oh, because Griff might intercept it, huh? Yes. Our first report has to be aimed at Griff, not at Drake. You see, the spaceship we destroyed must have been their communication link between Earth and Ophetius. Now, that leaves Griff in the dark as to late developments. We've got to keep him that way. Mm, I get you. So until we land back at headquarters, it's safer to let Griff think our flight was a failure. The XV-2 calling space station RV-5, reporting on Operation Haystack. Mission unsuccessful. Unsuccessful? All right, Rocky. I'll relay the message to Drake. Over and out. I guess you can't win all the time. Clark to Secretary Drake. Confidential. Operation Haystack. Come in, Headquarters of Space Affairs. Hold on, Clark. I'll call Secretary Drake. Uh, Mr. Secretary. Yes, sir. Space Station RV-5 reporting, sir, on Operation Haystack. So Rocky made it back. Good. Secretary Drake, send a message over the scrambler, Clark. Ready here, sir. Proceed, Clark. Mission unsuccessful. Professor Newton and Bobby, without apparent influence, seem sincere and determined in their desire to remain on the alien planet. This is a blow to our country, Griff. A staggering blow to the United Worlds of the solar system. Yes, sir. Sorry, I had to send this kind of a message, Mr. Secretary. Over and out. Space Station RV-5, Space Ranger Ship XV-2. Come in, XV-2. XV-2, reporting. Pickup by magnetic coupler complete. We'll put you in. Well, how about it, Rocky? You all in one piece this time, or should I alert the patch crew? All in one piece, Clark. See you soon. Out. Ah, the defeated warriors return at home. What a surprise this is going to be. How are we coming, Rocky? Everything super stellar? Uh, super stellar, Bobby. We're in the magnetic field of Space Station RV-5. Oh, boy. Now to get out and run to 100. Rocky, I'll bet that way up here on the space uh, island... Sorry, Bobby. I know we all want to get out and stretch our legs a bit, but... Right now, Professor Newton, it's best if you and Bobby stay out of sight in the ship. 
Oh, don't worry about us, Rocky. We'll do our stretching on Earth, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Professor. Oh, Rocky, don't lose your faith in people. Remember, it's the exception that proves the rule. <laughs> Garganto. Garganto? With everything going as planned, why chance a call at this time? Working as planned? What report have you received on the Rocky Jones flight? Mission unsuccessful. Professor Newton remaining on officials. That's a lie, Griff. A scheme to trap you. One moment. Garganto? Yes, you. Rocky has proof of your being our agent on Earth. The professor and the boy are with him in the orbit jet. They've told him. Get me off of here before they get back. Listen, Griff. One man strategically placed for sabotage has greater power than an army. I've done your work, Dargano. Now get me off of here. Use your power, Griff. Wait for the orbit jet to land and then destroy the headquarters of space affairs. Well, what about me? Am I so expendable? I didn't say that, but your duty comes first. You may need help. So call in Ramez. The job is important, Griff. You are important. Ramez is expendable. Over and out. A traitor in that uniform. Space Rangers and traitors, they don't go together! affairs immediately for special assignment. I'll clear you through the gates. You have a confidential report for Secretary Drake. Secure from blast up. Home again, home again. Chiggy Jupiter, it'll be super stellar when we get back on Earth once more. station. We're in free fall. Firing rockets in two seconds. The XV-2 calling Office of Space Affairs. Come in, please. Office of Space Affairs to XV-2. Come in. We're out of Space Station RV-5 and about to start primary breaking ellipse of Earth. Glad to have you back, Rocky. What's your landing time? Approximately 0800. Where's Secretary Drake? He's out of the zone. Any message? No, just hello. See you in the morning, Griff. Out. Drake? Rocky Jones says to say hello. 
Behave yourself. I'm gonna need you. Come on. down to the first section. down to the second section while I plant and wire this one. XV-2 calling Office of Space Affairs. Come in, please. Office of Space Affairs to the XV-2. Come in. I wonder where Drake is. Completing final breaking ellipse. Landing time now determined 0814. Requesting clearance. We'll be ready for you, Rocky. Out. Landing is 0814. Would you set your timer for 0830? That'll make an error of 16 minutes, which will give us time to blast off but it won't give Rocky time enough to find it. Come in. You're coming with me, Drake, just in case Rocky has some ideas that don't go along with mine. crew and passengers aboard, eh? Well, that's all right with me. Now, Rocky, switch on blast-off synchronizer. Rocky, go ahead. Start climbing.
take the ship off. Any minute now, any second, we're going up in smoke. Then you better go pull some switches if you want to live. Don't try it. Come on. to the XB-2. Come in, Office of Space Affairs. Well, Mr. Secretary, I must say this is quite a twist, my being on the receiving end here. But everything's under control. You can return to base. State landing time. We're all clear for you. We'll come in now, Rocky, and congratulations. Mission successful, thanks to you. same station when we again take you into outer space for further adventures with Rocky Jones, Space Ranger.
make one false move. Toss your weapon over the side. Any minute now, any second, we're going up in smoke. Then you better go pull some switches if you want to live. Don't try it. Come on. Any minute now, any second, we're going up in smoke. Then you better go pull some switches if you want to live. Now don't try it. Come on.
over on me. What do you bet they're just pretending to let us get away? Uh-huh. Heads they blast us, tails they don't, huh? The odds aren't that good. If they can't have Professor Newton on their side, they certainly don't want him on ours. Well, it's clear sailing ahead. That is, unless they decide to blast us. Is it manual control, Rocky? No, we'll go by instruments. Conserve all power for this long half winter. <sighs> You know, Wiki, it's hard to understand how a man raised on our Earth could fall in line with the Ophetians and become a spy for them against us. You mean we got one of those things crawling around? Yes, and in the Space Ranger's surface. What? Oh, you must be kidding. Galloping galaxies, I can't believe it. Do you know who it is? Yes, Griff. Griff? Golly. Hey, Griff's at headquarters. That's right. I don't understand it, but looking back, I can believe it. You see, Winky, Griff had a lot of time piled up, including a hop to Ophetius. That's when the bug bit him. That's when he fell for their phony philosophy. Yeah, go on. Then he took advantage of off Earth time to ask us for an office assignment so he could spy for them. Knife and comets, the guy must have got moon fever. He must be nuts to do a thing like that. Well, it's hard to explain a traitor, Winky, but... Well, his main purpose was to infiltrate the heart of our operations. That explains why the Ophetians seemed to know what we were going to do before we did it. Griff tipped them off. Gosh, Rocky, wait till Secretary Drake hears this and realizes that his own assistant... Yes, I know. Well, we'd better bring the log up to date and see it. Also during this mission, Darganto, a power in the officious formation, admitted under stress that their agent on Earth is Griff. Yes, Mr. Secretary, Griff. The time is now 1535, and we're still within the boundaries of the officious formation. You got that? Mm -hmm. Mr. Secretary, as an integral part of the log of this flight of the XV-2, I wish to make the following entry. I have never had so fine a crew. As an integral part of the log, this flight... <sighs> Rocky, this includes me. <laughs> Go on, Dana, there's more. Sorry, sir. There's only one T in integral. This is Secretary Drake. Send the message over to the scrambler, Clark. Ready here, sir. Proceed, Clark. Mission unsuccessful. Professor Newton and Bobby, without apparent influence, seem sincere and determined in their desire to remain on the alien planet. This is a blow to our country, Griff. A staggering blow to the united worlds of the solar system. Yes, sir. Sorry, I had to send this kind of a message, Mr. Secretary. Over and out. Space Station RV-5, Space Ranger Ship XV-2. Come in, XV-2. XV-2, reporting. Pickup by magnetic coupler complete. We'll put you in. 
Well, how about it, Rocky? You all in one piece this time, or should I alert the patch crew? All in one piece, Clark. See you soon. Out. Ah, the defeated warriors return at home. What a surprise this is going to be. How are we coming, Rocky? Everything's super stellar? Uh, super stellar, Bobby. We're in the magnetic field with Space Station RV-5. Oh, boy. Now to get out and run to 100. Rocky, I'll bet that way up here on the space uh, island... Sorry, Bobby. I know we all want to get out and stretch our legs a bit, but... Right now, Professor Newton, it's best if you and Bobby stay out of sight in the ship. Oh, don't worry about us, Rocky. We'll do our stretching on Earth, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Professor. Oh, Rocky, don't lose your faith in people. Remember, it's the exception that proves the rule. <laughs> Garganto. Garganto? With everything going as planned, why chance a call at this time? Working as planned. What report have you received on the Rocky Jones flight? Mission unsuccessful. Professor Newton remaining unofficious. Landing time now determined 0814, requesting clearance. We'll be ready for you, Rocky. Out. Landing is 0814. Would you set your timer for 0830? That'll make an error of 16 minutes, which will give us time to blast off. But it won't give Rocky time enough to find it. Come in. You're coming with me, Drake, just in case Rocky has some ideas that don't go along with mine. and passengers aboard, eh? Well, that's all right with me. Now, Rocky, switch on blast-off synchronizer. Rocky, go ahead. Start climbing. Space Rangers and traitors, they don't go together!
Griffin. Ramez, report to headquarters of Space Affairs immediately for special assignment. I'll clear you through the gates. You have a confidential report for Secretary Drake. Secure from blast out. Home again, home again. Jiggity Jupiter, it'll be super stellar when we get back on Earth once more. Clear space station, we're in free fall. Firing rockets in two seconds. The XV-2 calling Office of Space Affairs. Come in, please. Office of Space Affairs to XV-2, come in. We're out of Space Station RV-5 and about to start primary breaking ellipse of Earth. Glad to have you back, Rocky. What's your landing time? Approximately 0800. Where's Secretary Drake? He's out of the zone. Any message? No, just hello. See you in the morning, Griff. Out. Drake? Rocky Jones says to say hello. Behave yourself, I'm gonna need you. Come on. Down to the first section. 